and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to talk about getting your butts off the street and off the beach. And we'll explain that in just a second. My guests are from Clean City, Cynthia Harris and Wendy Isles. Welcome. Thank you for having us. This is, you know, it's a fun topic, and the good thing is we get to crack jokes about it, yes. you know, because of the double <laughs> meaning. But it's a very serious topic, too, yes. because, tell me why. Well, cigarette litter, cigarette butt litter is the number one littered item. Globally. Globally. <laughs> and it is, it is just absolutely horrible. Um, here, locally, it's really important to us because we are a peninsula and one cigarette butt contaminates two gallons of water and so you can kill all the aquatic life in that two gallons. Well, I'm going to ask why people do it and we probably don't quite know the answer to that, why people litter, but it's, it's small and people don't think it's a problem is my guess. But in that one cigarette butt, the kinds of of bad harmful chemicals that are in there. I know it includes arsenic. Right, yes, exactly. There's some other things. Yes. Um, so you think about that contaminating the water, bad enough for adults, but a dog, a child, I mean, it is, it is really, really risky. And frankly, there's water everywhere here. I mean, it's, And it's disgusting. Do yeah. you really want your child swimming in the water and there's cigarette butts there? Um, on the beach, you're walking along the beach and all of a sudden your child is playing in that sand and there's a pile, a big pile of cigarette butts that's hidden down in, in yeah, the Yeah, and, and it's gross, but also it's toxic. Yes, I mean, it is. you know, that, that is the really scary point. And maybe, yes. maybe people who smoke cigarettes don't like to admit <laughs> that they're smoking something with pretty serious toxins in it, but I just, I fail to understand how how people do that. Well, most people think cigarette butts are biodegradable, and they're not. It takes two years for a cigarette butt to decompose, and it only decomposes 38% after two years. So you can imagine how long it takes that to actually just dissolve itself. It's almost never. It's wow. almost never. Yeah. So what are we trying to do to uh, hammer this issue home? Okay, so we have a couple of things. We recently received a grant from Keep America Beautiful, and it was our, our campaign is called um, Cigarette Litter Prevention Program. Mm -hmm. And it couldn't um, be more exciting than that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's why we say we want to. We want Hampton to help us keep butts off of our streets and off of our beaches. Yeah, and out and of our waterways, storm drains, one, anything you put on the you. street pretty much ends up in the water. Exactly. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you, you know, a lot of people would not think anything or, or they don't think of throwing out uh, cans or, or used cups or anything like that. They know that's litter, mm -hmm. but they don't realize that that cigarette butt <laughs> is litter as well. So part of our campaign is getting our big butts out there <laughs> and literally put them out there and get people interested and um, interested in helping us. Right. And, I, and we really want people to help us reduce the amount of cigarette litter in Hampton. So we've got a couple things that we're doing. One is we have the cigarette butlers uh, these are for oh, so businesses. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick one up. Okay. Just so people can see it. It's heavy. It is these heavy. Are, it is heavy. These would go attached to a pole a or a wall. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you can see several of these in downtown Phoebus. Because um, Phoebus is on it. Phoebus is all <laughs> over it. And, and we're starting to put them in uh, downtown Hampton as well, and we want to put some in the Coliseum area. Yes. Um, we have three areas that we're going to scan in the city. Um, we already have one group that's volunteered to scan the Phoebus area for it. And by a scan, we do um, a walk, and we count the number of cigarette butts there, and then we work on our campaign and getting people to really understand what the campaign is about and then we come back in uh, four months mm -hmm. or so and we scan again. So you're looking, I mean, you want to do this everywhere, but you're particularly focusing the resources on where is the most problem mm -hmm. and how can we jump in and address it, reduce the, mm -hmm. at least some of that. Yes. And, and studies have shown that uh, if you do a cigarette litter campaign, you reduce the cigarette butt litter right. by 50%. Wow. 
Oh, that would make a huge difference. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Our, our, our actual goal is to get um, a lot of our adopt -a spot volunteers, community organizations, and even some of our sister government agencies to participate in this by using the cans that are two year um, left to actually collect those butts, keep a record of how many they collect, and then send them in to a company called TerraCycle. TerraCycle, who will recycle those and make all kinds of things out of them. And that's what these are for? Yes. Mm -hmm. So once it's full, you guys will send it back? Or oh, go ahead. you no. want people to do it? Like <laughs> no. what happens? If they go to Keep America Beautiful, they can actually download the mm -hmm. prepaid label. And when they get to TerraCycle and they log them in, they will donate a dollar back to the cigarette litter prevention plan with um, Keep America Beautiful. So everybody benefits from that. We get cigarette butts off the street. TerraCycle gets the butts so that they can recycle them into generally mm -hmm. park benches as well as other furniture. Um, and then Keep America Beautiful benefits. But overall, we as the public benefit by getting yeah. cigarette litter up. And the only cost to our, our participants is Time, time to, to do, do that. that. Yes, because everything you else guys is are giving these out yes, right now, and it comes with a kit inside with the vest and Cute. everything on the inside and the um, pickup stick. It comes with that also. That's good because if okay. I'm picking up litter, <laughs> I don't really want to touch right. the right. Um, the especially the cigarette butts. Right. But and there's really gloves inside. Else. I know also. I'm going to play with it. There we <laughs> oh, yeah. go. It's a grabber. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> And then there's there's also uh, gloves in there, the so that you're safe, very mm -hmm. safe. That is great. Um, mm -hmm. So because of this grant, you guys do have these things, these tools to give people mm -hmm. to remind them, mm -hmm. even even just as a reminder. Like if, if right. This, <laughs> It used to be that every car had an ash tree, exactly. mm -hmm. but times have changed and they don't always. Mm -hmm. So you can put this in your cup holder, mm -hmm. put your cigarettes out in it, tiny little hole, it's very handy, <laughs> and they can get some of these from you. Yes. Yes. So we have a lot of those to give away as well as the pocket ashtrays, which I think are, are very cool. Um, it's I, so tiny compared to the one I saw a few years ago. Yeah. So they really could slip right into your pocket. Yeah, it's like a, it's just like a miniature ashtray. And you know, you're gonna dump it pretty frequently because yes. who wants to walk around with the smell in their yes. pocket? I mean, maybe yeah. some people don't notice yes. it, but. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we, we really want people to understand that cigarette butts are litter. Mm -hmm. And we want them to help us by volunteering. Uh, volunteer not just for the scan, but also for, um, ongoing litter pickups um, mm -hmm. and, and part of the scan of course is the data collection um, and then to to follow up and we'll have um, a, a follow-up scan in about four months as I said and and we want we want to make this kind of like a celebratory thing like look what we are doing mm -hmm. come on out and join us have fun while you're doing it and we will start the public uh, uh, outreach campaign was it August the 20th? That's the day of the scan. That August 27th. Yeah. So you really want to start getting the awareness out yes. really yes. sooner. Yes. Um, and I was going to say, and the other thing about it is you can make jokes about it, mm -hmm. and that makes it a little easier mm -hmm. to promote, like no butts about <laughs> it, get your butts off the street, right. like all of that kind of stuff. It, it creates a more fun, lighter yes. mood that people are going to remember. Yes. Yes. It's catchy. Yes. And if somebody would like to reach out to us, um, at our at our office, they we were happy to bring the butts out. They can uh, photograph their employees or their business with the butts, so that shows that they're on board with mm -hmm. you know keeping the butts off of Hampton streets. So wherever they are, the the butlers yes. are for businesses. Yes. What about like community areas? What about like you know? The at beach. holes in downtown Hampton or yes. at the beach or at parks where you know kids are playing where you really really don't want cigarette butts are we able to do anything there we do uh, part of our grant uh, will allow us uh, to do our public outreach campaign our media and that but we also have funding where we can buy the big receptacles we're trying to find those transit points now That's and, what the scan will grab, do. Right, and grab permission to be able to put those uh, containers, those larger receptacles in those areas. So we're hoping that we can get 
the, the feedback on that and a, and a good response on getting those situated. So having those more available for the mm -hmm. for pedestrians, mm -hmm. places where people are walking or standing right. outdoors, and then we have to work on the drivers. Yes. Because that, I think, is a, is a big, yeah. big part of the problem. Yeah. You don't want that sticky yeah. thing in your car. Yeah. Boom, you throw it out the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but then that comes in really handy and that as well. Yeah. Um, just to to get somebody to know that, you know, it's more important to put it in the in the pocket ashtray or in the um, car collection than tossing it out the window yeah. because it, birds pick up um, yes. cigarettes and they... Oh gosh, I've seen them use it in yes. nests and stuff mm -hmm. too and that's And so they sad. try to feed it to their young. Mm -hmm. And is that really what we want? No. Right. And there's also, there's also been instances of someone flicking that out the window and somebody else has their windows down behind them mm -hmm. and it has and it flown into in. the You've car. Got fire yes. issues. Yes. But but really it's also r reminding people that they're a lot worse than they yes. look. I mean there's microplastics yes. in there that almost never degrade, <laughs> arsenic, some other things. Yes. Um, that will kill our wildlife. Yes, yes it will. And, and most people care. They just, I hope, um, don't think <laughs> about it or don't think, well my one cigarette butt is going to be and a that's problem. that's the issue. But it starts with one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the yeah. issue. Absolutely. So do you have events coming up? People should watch your Facebook page. Yes, please. Um, and also um, some changes on the website. So they can go to, um, you know, hampton.gov slash clean city and or to our Facebook page um, and uh, see the information. We also have um, an e-blast that'll be going out mm -hmm. about the campaign to all of our our current volunteers. So if it, someone's interested, they could sign up um, mm -hmm. for that and for the scan as well. We need about ten more people right. for the scan. We have our first five, um, and that's to hit different places. So mm -hmm. you want people yes. to go to different parts of the. We city. need five per area, and so uh, we've already target. Mm -hmm. We've already decided on the areas that we're going to be scanning. And uh, so we're. Did you want to? Um, Phoebus is one. Is what is it along Mellon Street? Mm -hmm. You've got some very good volunteers. Yeah. From Phoebus, I <laughs> yes, know. and that's who's already signed up. Yep. The other, the second area is the HRT station on uh, Victoria. Is it Victoria Boulevard? I think it's on Victoria. Okay. Oh, the yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and then Coliseum BID, um, that main drag, and because we've seen a lot of cigarette butts over in that area. So, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> And our, our stuff too, like Coliseum yeah. parking lot, probably. I mean, yeah. places oh, you know like what? that. Yeah. Yes. That's a, okay. Get, get yeah. our own folks involved. Yeah. And okay. we would love that. So we have a challenge. Uh, we're challenging every city agency, including city council mm -hmm. and the Hampton City Schools and the school board to get on board with this mm -hmm. and, and conduct litter pickups. We are happy to supply the equipment for it. Mm -hmm. we, we give them everything, the gloves, the, the vest, the bags, everything they need to do a litter pickup. And then uh, let's, let's make Hampton clean. Let's truly make Hampton clean mm -hmm. and butt free. It was just awarded the All-American City, right? That's right. Well, let's, let's put We're an engaged that community. There. Let's yes. get engaged yes. in the environment as well. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you all so thank much. You for I am us. looking forward to this. We're going to have a good time with it, but it has a yes. very serious yes. Yes, um, implication. Thank you. All right. Thank you both. Thank you. All right. If you're a smoker, if you know a smoker, if you see a smoker, please remind people that this is the number one littered item and that it is extremely dangerous to marine life, to children, to pets. I mean, we just don't want this. You might think one little butt is not a problem, but there are millions out there and that is a huge problem. Hope you spread the word and thanks for watching.